a nice coffee mug. No, giraffes don't drink coffee, Elfie. <sighs> um, pair of dark glasses? Rocking horse? Rubber duck. <sighs> I don't think we're ever going to come up with a suitable birthday present. Still, she'll enjoy her surprise birthday party, won't she, Raph? <laughs> Not if I can't think of a birthday present. Oh. Well, why don't you ask everyone else when you invite them to the party? Someone's bound to have a good idea. Good idea. I just said that. I'll ask Barney if I can have the day off to go and ask everyone. There. That should do it. Look what I've got for you, Scoot. It's the Max Mark I jetpack. Now you'll go extra supersonic fast. Of course you can have the day off, Raph. Thank you, Barney. Too kind. <sighs> Fat lot of help I was. I couldn't think of anything to help Raph. Well, you tried, Elfie. Yes, but... I know. I'll give the old place a good spruce up for the party. That's what I'll do. I'll get the station looking absolutely bright and clean and sparkling. Great idea, Elfie. A surprise party? Shush. It's supposed to be a surprise. Just one thing, though. I can't think of anything to get her as a present. Well, how about a nice scarf to keep her warm? You know what? That's a great idea, Mia. But where am I going to find a scarf big enough? She's got a very long neck, you know. Well, if everyone gave you a scarf, we could sew them all together. That would be long enough. Uh, hang on, where's he going? We can collect all the scarves in this. You know, you two ought to enter the Good Idea Olympics. <laughs> Come on, let's get collecting. <laughs> Hello. Mm, that chimney could do with a spot of attention. A bit higher, please, Frankie. Got you, Elfie. <laughs> Supersonic scoot and Max the Marvel. When emergency calls, we'll be the fastest thing in the city. Okay, Scoot, let's get ready to rumble! Oh, I hope I didn't overdo things. Uh-oh. And the most colourful by the look of things, Jumpy. You must thank your mum for sewing them all together. Oh, G is going to be so pleased. What's that sound? What? Max? Wow! That was lucky. Except, how do I get down? What just happened? I don't know. I think it was something to do with Max. Jumpy, hold on. I, I can't. We'll get help. Oh, yes, please. And quickly. I don't like it up here. Go and get Frankie, Raph. Oh, okay. And hurry. Try not to move, Jumpy. We'll soon have you down. Oh, I hope. Oh, no! I hope you can swim, Scoot. Looks like we're going to get wet. Phew. That was close. 
Los. Think I'd better take you back to the station and get those jetpacks off you. On the flagpole? Yes, and if we don't hurry... Tom, Frankie, quick. Get yourselves over to the town hall as soon as you can. Sooner! I'm on the case. Abby, why'd you stop? Help! Elfie, what are you doing up there? Wondering how to get down. Well, don't worry. Frankie will help. He won't. He's just gone off on a job. How about Haley? Good thinking, Abby. Don't worry, Elfie. We'll soon have you down. Max, just the very person. We need Haley and quick. Elfie's stuck on the fire station roof. Hey, over here! Help! Thanks, Max. You're a lifesaver. Speaking of which, I think there's a bit of a problem over at the town hall. You mean, like, an emergency? Think so. Right. Elfie. Elfie. Hop in. Elfie, come on. We've got someone to save. Elfie. Um, <clears throat> I think she might still be on the station roof. On the station? What's she doing up there? Well, <laughs> she was cleaning it. Getting ready for G's surprise party. Well, in that case, come on, Tom. In you hop. I can't. You know what I'm like with heights. I'll do it. You will not, my lad. Safety regulations forbid it. Well, who's going to get jumpy down? Healthy! Thought you might need a hand. Hang on, Jumpy. We'll soon have you down. Hey! Well, well done, done Elfie. Well, I think that's enough excitement for one day. Um, not quite. Hey, you mean? We've still got G's surprise birthday party, remember? Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever can they want me at the fire station for? I don't know, G, but Raph said it was important. Surprise! surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday G. G! Oh! But this is so unexpected. I hope this is too. It's a scarf. Hope you like it. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <sighs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday G. G! is up to. Ow! Ow. Mm. <laughs> Max, are you all right? Oh, uh, hi! Yes, never better. <laughs> What's that you've got there, Max? This is Scoot's new improved siren. What just happened? Uh, I think Max did. <laughs> G, 
Just a few little gremlins to be sorted out. Max, stop messing about and get to work. Uh, yes, Bobby. And where are you three off to this bright and breezy morning? We're going for a walk in Friend Forest. So we're going to see if we can find any rare plants there. We're going to take pictures. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Mind how you go. We will. <laughs> Jumpy, that's a bluebell. They're about as rare as flies round a jam pot. I knew that. Just wanted to make sure you were both paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. But I bet I can find the rarest plant. Come on. Now this is what I call a find. That's a sort of mushroom, isn't it? A fungus. Yep. Isn't it beginning to get a bit dark? Wow! Look at the time! We should be getting back. Uh, which way is back? Maybe it's this way. We're lost, aren't we? Lost? Help! We're lost! Lost in Friend Forest and... and, and... Hungry work, all this inventing. Oh, need salt oh. and pepper. No. Oh. Oh well. Just have to do without the pepper. Hmm. They should be back by now. I hope nothing's happened. Oh, don't worry. They're sensible children. They'll be back soon. <gasps> oh, hello, Tiffany. Well, you look pleased to see one of your best customers. Oh, I'm sorry, Tiffany. It's just that we're a bit worried about Martin and Mia. They went to look for flowers in Friend Forest. Yes, I know. I saw them earlier on. And they're not back yet. Well, don't worry. Timber and I will find them in no time. Timber's a brilliant tracker dog. Oh. oh. <laughs> Have you got one of the sweaters or a sock or something so Timber can get their scent? That's it. Good boy. Now seek. Seek, Timber. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll be home before you know it. Oh, I hope so. Thanks, Tiffany. Now that's what I call a sandwich. That sounds like... Timber! He must have sniffed up all the pepper I spilt! You spilt pepper? What for? I, I didn't do it on purpose. I... Tiff? Is something the matter? Just a bit. Martin, Mia and Jumpy are lost and Timber was tracking them down. But thanks to you and your pepper... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Timber. <laughs> oh, still, not to worry. I'll find them. I'll fetch Haley, and we'll search the forest for them. <laughs> and we'll get Petey. Where to, Tiffany? Friend Forest. We've got some lost children to find. Okay, Haley. This is a red alert. Let's go. Oh, no. 
No! Don't tell me that isn't a monster! It's Hayley! Hayley! Oh. Down here! Hayley, over here! Help! Help! Hayley. Help, Help. Us. Over here! Help us, Hayley! We're here! Hayley! Oh, great! Hayley couldn't see us! Oh, looks like we're stuck here. Wait a minute. <gasps> Monsters? No. Just a great idea. Oh, brilliant! Here we are, lost in Fen Forest, and Martin wants to take a picture! No, no pictures. Just going to use the flash. Of course, the flash gun. They might be able to see that through the trees. Oh, it's no good. Your searchlight won't reach the forest floor. Wait, what's that down there? It looks like someone's trying to signal us. Max to Tiffany, Max to Tiffany. You found them. I think so. Someone's signalling from amongst the trees. It could be them. They're about 300 metres from you, bearing seven degrees north by northwest. I'm on my way. A lot of good that was. It was a really good idea, Martin. Yeah, pity it didn't work. <gasps> What's that? Oh no, I said the forest was full of monsters and... That's no monster, it's Tiffany. Tiffany! Are we ever glad to see you? Likewise, your mum and dad are being so worried. Oh, Tiffany, how can we ever thank you? Oh, there's no need. And I have to say, Max did all the real work. Oh, he was great. Him and Hayley. Mind you, he wouldn't have spotted us if it hadn't have been for your camera, Martin. Well, we'll have to give Max a little something to show our appreciation. suppose you've got a spare pepper pot knocking about, have you? <laughs> oh, yes. I can remember when heavy horses used to pull the fire truck all around the city of friends. Horses? Were they fast enough in an emergency, Frankie? You've forgotten something, Martin. The City of Friends didn't have motor cars in the old days. No motor cars? How did people get about? Well, they either walked or used horsepower, Mia. I tell you, when the fire bell went, a strong team of horses could nearly outrun me. Come in, Tiffany. Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry, Bobby. I was so enthralled by Frankie's stories, I lost track of time. Just checking your location, Tiffany. In the town square. We'll make a move now. Bye, Bobby. We'd better get a move on too, Frankie. Oh, I was really enjoying Frankie's stories about the olden days. <laughs> Another time, Abby. Bye. We'd better go and see what Ted's up to, Abby. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, did either of you see Tom in town? Uh, no, Raph, I haven't seen him all morning. He left this morning saying he'd be back soon. <laughs> and that was a couple of hours ago. He sneaked out whilst Elfie was taking a nap in her shed. He's gone to buy her some apples. It's a surprise. Oh, your secret's safe with us, Raph. Right, seeing as it's nice and quiet, I'm going inside to tidy my office. Oh. <laughs> Help! I'm locked inside the station! Oh, I haven't got a key. Have you, Raph? Afraid not, Frankie. Uh, we haven't got a key, Barney. What shall we do? Get Raph to radio Elfie. She might have a spare key in her shed. Come in, Elfie. Are you receiving me? Come in, Elfie. 
We have an emergency situation. What? What's going on? Oh, hearing you loud and clear, Raph. What's the problem? Barney's locked himself inside the fire station. Do you have a spare key? Oh, no. Hold on. I'll be with you right away. Help! Stand back, Barney. I'm going to try forcing the door open. Oh, Ooh, that didn't work. Oh, now what? Elfie, I've got an idea. Radio the police station. Bobby's sure to have a spare set of keys. <laughs> Don't worry, Elfie. I've got spare keys for every house in the City of Friends. Wonderful. I'll drive over with them right away, Elfie. Thanks, Tiffany. See you soon. Come on, Timber. Hop in. Woof, 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 woof. Here's the key to the fire station, Tiffany. <laughs> Don't lose it. Bobby, I've just received a report of an emergency situation in the City of Friends. The police crew are required immediately. Uh-oh. What about Barney? An emergency call-out has to be our priority, Tiffany. Right, Bobby. I'd better let Alfie know we're not coming. But if you don't come, Barney will be locked up in the fire station all day. I'm sorry, Elfie. There really is no alternative. Well, you could always send Timber with the key, Tiffany. Oh! That's not a bad idea, Frankie. I'll tie the key to her collar and send her over right away. Is it a good idea to trust a dog with a set of keys, Frankie? Well, if horses could pull fire trucks in the old days, there's no reason why Timber can't safely carry a set of keys. Just so long as he doesn't get distracted by a rabbit. I want you to take this key to Elfie at the fire station. Go, Timber! Go! <laughs> I can't wait to see Elfie's face when she sees these apples. Mm. Hey, Timber, what's the rush? <laughs> hmm, somebody's dropped a key. <gasps> it's the fire station key. How did it get here? Oh! Timber's here! Woof! 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 Good boy, Timber. Now, where's that key? Oh. <laughs> you found it, Elfie. No, Frankie. But, but Tiffany said she'd fix it to Timber's collar. Well, it's not there now, Frankie. Ooh, you'd better get on the radio and make an urgent call to Tiffany. Hello, Elfie here. Are you receiving me? Receiving you loud and clear, Elfie. Has Timber arrived with the key yet? Timber's arrived, but without the key. Oh, Max, stop. What's the matter, Tom? Can you take this key to the fire station? It's an emergency, Max, so be as quick as you can. Don't worry, Tom. Me and Scoot are the fastest thing on two wheels in the City of Friends. Twenty-six green bottles hanging on the wall. Twenty-six green bottles. Hanging on the wall, and if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be twenty-five green bottles hanging on. Tom sent these for you, Elfie. Oh, apples! Mm, my favourite. Would anybody like one? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, Raph. You mustn't miss out on my treat. Oh, thank you, Elfie. <sighs> Did you get the key, Elfie? Key? What key? The key in the basket. I found it on the pavement in town. <laughs> hmm? Max? Sorry, Tom. I was so excited about the apples, I forgot all about the key. Here it is. You found the key that Timber dropped, Tom. Hey, everybody. Remember me? Coming, Barney. Oh, thank you. I thought I was going to be stuck in the station all night. <laughs> I see you found the key, Barney. <laughs> I didn't have much to do with it, Bobby. It was these guys that did all the work. Timber started off with the key but dropped it. <laughs> I found it and gave it to Max. Then Scoot and I whizzed over here. And I unlocked the fire station door. And, ta-da! And here I am. A brilliant example of team effort. City of Friends team effort. <laughs> you can't beat it. Yes! yes!